Hi, it's Chris Hinchko with Show Up Fitness. I'm here with one of my trainers, Marissa, and we're with Stack.com today. And what we're going to be showing you is properly how to do a plank. There's a lot of modifications out there and right ways to do a plank. The world record, you know what it is for a plank? Four minutes. Five hours. Very, very long time. But that's not what we're doing today. We're going to show you how to do it properly. And so before we get into that, we're going to go over some checkpoints. There's three main checkpoints I like to work with our athletes. The first one is going to be the glutes. We want to squeeze the glutes and make sure they're optimally engaged. Pretend like you have a magical $500 bill between your butt cheeks. You don't want anyone to take it from you. So turn and face the camera. Don't get too excited. You're going to squeeze your glutes as hard as you can and hold that during the plank. Squeeze them as hard as you possibly can. That's checkpoint number one. Second thing we're going to do is the core. So I want Marissa here to squeeze your core as hard as you can. Pretend like I'm going to jab you in the stomach. Unexpectedly. You want to brace the core while you're doing it. And the last thing we're going to do is the lats. The lats are a very powerful posterior chain activator. So what we need to do in the plank position is squeeze them down. Internally rotate, adduct, and also extend. That's what the lats do. So we want to make sure we get the lats engaged, the core engaged, and then the glutes in the plank position. My method is a little unorthodox. I like to begin in the bird dog position. So get into the bird dog. That's going to be your hands right under your shoulders and then your knees under your hips. Now I want to test core stability first. And so squeeze those three checkpoints, the lats, the core, and the glutes. And I want you to be strong. I don't want you to be able to move. So I'm going to push my athlete and they shouldn't be able to swagger back and forth. Now that's a really strong position. From there, I'm going to progress into the plank. So we're going to go to our elbows, and then to our toes. And then we're going to add in a little foam pad between the legs to adduct. Squeeze the core, engage the glutes, engage the lats. Pull your elbows to your toes. Make it really hard. Slip, side back, just slide in. There you go. And violently contract as hard as you can. Tight here, tight here, tight here. And good. And as you're going to see, it's pretty exhausting. Hold it for about 10 to 15 seconds max, and then you can progress into various other exercises, which I'll show you here in a second. But I'm going to show you first plank variations or plank um, common mistakes with the plank. So go into the plank position. First common one we see is the ass sags. See, it drops like that. That means you're not squeezing your glutes as hard as you can. So come back up into optimal. Good. The second one you're going to see is the, the client or the athlete going over their shoulders too much. That makes it a lot easier. Maintain a 90 degree angle. And last but not least is the head position. We come up too high and we hyperextend or we come down too much and we flex too much. Maintain a ball position. Pretend like you're a dog. You don't want to drop that ball between your chin and your clavicle. Alright, so now we're going to do some variations of the plank. The first one we're going to do is a side plank. I call this the starfish, I think that's what it's called. So you're going to get into a side position, 90 degrees. Athletes are going to lift their foot up. And if I want it to be mean, I can push her around and she should be stable as well. I'll give her just a little bit of a tap there, good. Maintaining that is good lateral core stability. That's one variation. The second variation is going to be a reverse plank. If you have optimal shoulder extension, which should be about 60 degrees, this is a good exercise. If you have this forward lean and you look what I call invisible lat syndrome, if you have that, this exercise may not be for you. She has it. She's good. Squeeze the core as hard as you can to progress this. Lift up a leg and you shouldn't drop it all. Go down again and watch real closely right here. This is her ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine. It does not drop when she lifts her leg because she's squeezing her core. Very good. So that's really good core activation that we want to do. This is the reverse plank. Great, great exercise. Last but not least is the fun one you can do with a partner. Push-up position. I'm going to lift up her feet. I'm going to challenge her not to let her feet hit the ground. I'm not going to let her know which one I'm dropping. Very good. So this is working with the motor response. Very good. Nice. A lot more challenging. Your athlete really has to focus on proprioceptively which leg is going to drop. Great for the core. So again, just to review how to do a proper plank, I call it a violent plank. Core activation, lats engaged, squeeze the glutes, 
Proper neck positioning, hold for about 10 to 15 seconds. Give it a shot. One try is all we need, motherfucker.